a maniac that was wanted by nearly everyone in the galaxy, from the Rebel Alliance to even the Galactic Empire. The notorious Dr. Evazan had the largest target on his back, as his crime sickened every group and organization that became aware of them. Not only was he wanted by the two major galactic powers of his era, but also 12 separate planetary systems gave him the death penalty on their own accord, and on top of that, dozens of bounty hunters and mercenaries went out of their way to try and hunt him down for either personal reasons or to eliminate what they believed was truly the most sickening man they've ever heard of. So who was Dr. Evazan, and what did he do that made him an enemy of nearly every being in the entire galaxy? First, in canon, Evazan was originally a mildly successful surgeon who was known for his cosmetic operations. However, during this time, either something snapped in his brain, or he just decided to stop pretending on being a sane individual. As shortly into his career as a professional cosmetic surgeon, he started to do extreme experiments on unwilling patients. His early list of crimes consisted of mutilating and killing hundreds of beings, with a few of his experiments consisting of him rearranging the limbs of his patients, leaving the few who survived his operations to live out their lives horrifically scarred. He seemed to choose his victims randomly and without care of where they came from, as a few wealthy and well-connected individuals were known to lose a few of their family members to his experiments. He quickly became a high-profile criminal on his world and had a bounty placed on him by local authorities. The first bounty hunter to come across Evazan ended up disfiguring his face. He almost ended up being captured by the bounty hunter had he not been saved by a nearby Aqualish thug named Pondo. Following their escape from the bounty hunter, Pondo realized Evazan's intelligence and potential to be used to create a ton of wealth for himself, so he convinced the doctor to partner up with him and use his connections to enter the criminal underworld. Together, Pondo and Evazan went on to become partners in crime for a few years, which ranged from smuggling to murder, and this earned them a semi-modest living. During this short period, they both ended up on the wanted list of multiple star systems, it wouldn't be until in the later years of their lives, however, that they'd become one of the most wanted individuals in the galaxy, as at this point, Dr. Evazan decided to conduct perhaps some of his most cruel experiments that would be both felt and seen across multiple planets. His most infamous creations were the Decraniated. These were beings that were kidnapped and cybernetically modified to be turned into obedient slaves, and many of them were later sold to wealthy crime lords and the like. The cybernetics that replaced their brains took away their consciousness, which in effect eliminated who they were as a person before the procedure, and they essentially became mindless droids that were made to serve. Some of the earliest victims of these creations were taken from medic bays as well as soldiers from both sides of the war who were injured during a bloody battle, many of which actually came from the chaotic moon of Jeddah. Dr. Evazan and Pondo were known to always be on the move leaving behind only a trail of victims from their sick experiments as evidence of their stay for every planet. Not much else is known about the Doctor beyond that, other than that a bounty hunter named Tam Pasla has been on their tail since at least Jeddah, and he has taken a personal vengeance toward hunting Evazan down. This same bounty hunter has also acquired Pondo's severed arm from the cantina, suggesting he is getting awfully close to catching up with Dr. Evazan and his partner. In Legends, Dr. Evazan was known for being a lunatic from the very start. Early on in his life, he tried to apply to the Imperial military. However, during the interview process, the Imperials who interviewed him found him to be so crazy of a person that they believed he was a danger to society, so they ended up sending Evazan to an Imperial prison, but he was able to escape shortly afterwards. After his escape from prison, he began to study and practice cyborging and organic surgery, with nearly all of his patients being unwilling kidnapped beings. His actions, of course, caught the eye of local law enforcement agencies, which forced the doctor to be on the move as he jumped from planet to planet. It wasn't clear why he did what he did, but one being suggested that Evazan was attempting to find immortality and that he hoped his experiments would lead him to said answer. While his forced surgery experiments were his most well-known crimes, Evazan also dealt in slaving and assassination jobs. The origin of his deformed face and meeting with Pondo was nearly identical to its canon counterpart, where a bounty hunter had tracked Evazan down and shot a blaster bolt that took off half of the doctor's face. He was almost about to be captured, had it not been for the intervention of Pondo. While they formed a somewhat uneasy friendship, it quickly ended following their confrontation with Luke and Obi-Wan, where Pondo lost his arm due to Evazan's aggressive attitude. 
The doctor promised to reattach the Aqualish's arm back through surgery, but failed to do so. This failure ended their relationship, in which Pondo later swore to kill Evazan for causing him to lose his arm. However, after about a year, the two came across each other and made up. They then began working together, where Evazan believed he made a breakthrough on achieving immortality, which was to transfer the mind from the aging body it was trapped in. After countless experiments on plenty more innocent beings, Evazan eventually ended up creating a few dozen zombies as he made progress to achieving his goal. It was around this time of his experiments that the bounty hunter Boba Fett finally had tracked him down and infiltrated the Mad Doctor's laboratory. After blasting away a few of the zombies that were unleashed, Boba Fett successfully shot and killed Dr. Evazan. But wait, that wasn't the end of his tale. As prior to his death, Evazan had injected himself with an updated serum that he had used on his patients that turned them into zombies. So even though he was killed by Boba, Evazan was able to eventually come back to life as his body slowly reanimated itself. Though unlike his other subjects, the doctor still had his mind but it was implied his body at that point looked like a dead corpse. Though he wouldn't remain alive long after that, as he eventually died from a serum that was used to wipe out the zombies he had created. Although it was believed that that was the end of Dr. Evazan, there were reports and rumors that he was still active nine years following the Battle of Yavin. Though it was never confirmed if that was truly him, or just a copycat that committed similar criminal acts. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.